We are gonna make this case without getting burned. Adam, it's an emergency. Let's go. I do not know where we're going. I'm completely naked out here. Your time is coming, Adam. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Like. So next week's episode looks pretty good too. Um, and I think some people got it a little bit twisted. This week's episode was a Burgess-centric episode. Sometimes I know they throw like Kim and Adam together in these episodes, but and I think that's just because they, you know, they're they're a couple on the show, so it's only natural if they're on the episodes together. But this episode was a Burgess-centric episode. Next week is Ruzek-centric episode, so. There was some people kind of complaining, like, oh, man, we ain't get, we, you know, where's the uh, next Atwater or Torres centric episode? I'm like, bro, y'all don't get it. Like, dude, next week is a Ruzek centric episode. Maybe they should have did it a little bit different, but I think they did this one like this because it's connected to the Sean case. Um, so usually Haley has been getting those episodes with the Sean case, but they seem to be taking a break on that part to the season finale. And they've kind of moved into this area with uh, Ruzek dealing with um, um, Samantha and Richard. So, because I think next week's episode is the last week before the last four episodes are aired of the season, um, they usually like to end with the major storyline of the season. This is a part of the main storyline of the season because, like I said, it's connected with all the Sean stuff that's been going on. Uh, with the Haley stuff, so it makes sense why this one is set up like this. But, anyways, in this episode, it looks like you know Ruzek is going to in, uh, continue to infiltrate the Bex, and he's going to start earning Samantha and Richard's trust with a bold move. And it looks like Richard is ready to really embrace um, Adam, and he's as he's been doing some really good undercover work to get their trust like this. So, um, but it sounds like he's like in a situation where you know, he's not in control of what's going on. And that kind of gives you some pause as, to, you know, if things get out of control, um, you know, you know, are they going to be able to step in and help him, uh, the crew, but we'll see. But, uh, it's a very interesting case, man. I, I think it's going to be very good next week. Uh, I've been loving the Sean stuff and, and, and how they ingratiate this. The last time they went over to Samantha and Richard stuff last time. So we'll see how this goes, man. Um, and I do wonder when Sean gets back into the picture with this, man. So that'll be interesting. Probably, like I said, in the season finale. But I'm pretty sure we're going to see an Atwater and Toys episode probably in those somewhere in those last four. Um, and we'll probably get their next episode. So we'll see what happens then. I'm going ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Let me leave y'all thoughts. And uh, I'll see y'all next week. Thank y'all for watching all my One Chicago videos this week. After news to like.